Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japan, I want to give you a little up date on what's going on with my return to Japan. Coming up. All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Andy Talks Japan. Today's episode, guys, I just want to give you a little update on what's going on with my return to Japan at the end of the year, which is next month. <laughs> so we're uh, closing in on that. But uh, before we begin, I just want to mention that today's Thanksgiving here in Mercogen land. So I hope you and yours are having a, have a happy Thanksgiving wherever you are. And uh, I'm just laying here on my bed, just stretching my back out because uh, sitting at my chair a little too long working on stuff. So just in case you guys are wondering, <laughs> just want to let y'all know. But in any event, uh, as far as that update goes, uh, let's just jump right into it, right? So I have some really good news as far as that goes, actually. So a couple days ago, I got an email from my school saying that my COE, which is my certificate of eligibility, which is like the main part of the visa, has been approved. So the main part of getting the visa is done good to go as far as that goes but the next step is waiting for the official paperwork to come to me here in North Carolina via the snail mail so once that comes in I gotta fill out a couple forms because I guess there's like new visa forms and stuff to fill out which you know Japan gotta get used to the paperwork right so I gotta fill out them forms and send it to the nearest Japanese consulate here in America and since I'm here in North Carolina that consulate is in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, thankfully, since I'm over 100 miles away from the consulate, I can just um, send it to them in snail mail. So I don't have to worry about flying out to Atlanta or driving out there and just sitting in a hotel room waiting for a couple days for them to process everything. I can just send it out in the mail and uh, wait for them to send it back to me. And then once that's been sent back to me, approved, all that stuff, then finally, <laughs> after all this time, I'm free to go to Japan. So pretty much once I'm done with school for this semester here in North Carolina, I'm going to be making plans to uh, get to Japan as soon as I can. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> so I don't have a definitive fly out date at the time of this recording. Uh, once I do, I'll be sure to post it because that's like the main question everybody's asking me. Hey, Andy, you know, when, when are you flying out? When are you flying out? When's your fly out day? When do you arrive in Japan? What's going on? So I just want to let y'all know, I don't have a flyout date as of yet, but when it does come out, I uh, will be sure to let y'all know. But uh, yeah, man, just this journey back to Japan has been tremendous. <laughs> I know I keep saying that I should get a shirt, hashtag tremendous, but uh, it's been long, it's been arduous, but uh, we're closing in on the tail end of the journey to Japan and the beginning of starting the Andy Japani series again proper. It's just been great, man. And uh, if anything, since, you know, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I definitely have a lot to be grateful for and thankful for, I should say. And uh, I gotta be thankful for the opportunity to be able to come back to uh, Tokyo once again, because, you know, were it not for putting in the work earlier when I was in the Navy and stuff, I wouldn't have this opportunity. You know, like a lot of people, you know, especially when, when I got out of the Navy the way I did, um, a lot of people were like, did you regret joining the Navy or whatever? And I'm like, nah, man, you know, good experience. Got to see the world, got to live in Japan. <laughs> and now thanks to the Navy, I get to live in Japan once again, this time as a student. So I don't have any restrictions or anything like that set upon me, at least by the military anyway. I still got to be a halfway decent person, obey the local laws and all that stuff, so I can't be a complete hooligan. But, uh, yeah, as long as I keep it within the limits of the law, I should be in Gucci bag. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much my little update video on my return to Japan. As things progress, I'll be sure to let y'all know. But for now, with that said, this is the Andy San, signing off for now. And as always, We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.